Hey there, Sparkers. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video um, to give an update on SparkShare. So SparkShare 1.2 is out now, um, and there's some new features that I wanted to show off in a new video. Uh, so let's boot up SparkShare right here. So I'm just, you know, on my desktop for PC. So again, SparkShare is a community app by a community member, PsychoKiller188. Um, and it is a great tool for sharing assets and everything like that. And it's uh, growing in features all the time. So that's why I uh, definitely want to do these videos to highlight them. So SparkShare is just right down here. I have it pinned on my taskbar uh, since we're using it quite a bit. So I'm going to open this up and it's going to prompt me for an update actually. So there's a new feature for auto um, auto loading updates. So I click this and it's going to open here. It's going to tell me it's out of date. Perfect. So now I need to uh, please update. So okay. And here we go. So a new version is available. So this is a hot fix to version 1.2. Uh, actually, so just a couple fixes. You can see the change log here. Um, great stuff. So now that I have this prompt, I can actually choose to download. So I'm going to click that. It should be really fast. Yep, there it goes. Do -do -do. Check. I'm going to agree here. And ready to install. Perfect. And that was fast. So back to the main screen here. I just need to log in with my credentials. All right, log in. Hopefully I remembered my password. All right, there we go. So now we have the latest version of Project Spark. So that was the, the auto loader going in, the auto update. So very cool to have that as a feature now. Uh, so next, um, one thing I wanted to sh uh, show off real quick, just I think it's handy for any creator, is uh, descriptions now are going to have links in them. So I actually had um, that in this case. So I uploaded a asset called Movie Credits. I did a tips and tricks video on how to do scrolling, scrolling text like movie credits. Um, and I included a link to our YouTube channel. Um, and now it'll actually auto um, recognize that as a link, except for the fact that I'm trying to, I'm like going and editing it now, which I didn't want to do. Uh, let's back that out. Okay, there we go. So I actually click this. Um, it's going to open up. Um, I'll stop that real quick so there's no audio. Um, but really handy. Um, or if you have like, you know, a creator page on, uh, you know, project-spark.org uh, um, for the project or something like that. Uh, really good other thing to link to. So really nice to see that um, as well. All right. So, uh, Another really cool big feature is when I go to share content, uh, if I click share, um, let's go to a level here. Um, I think I'm going to do, uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, the, 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 let's see, let me make sure I got, so let's say I got Spark open here, right? Let me make sure I connect to services. And any of these levels here, I can choose to share um, up to SparkShare, right? So we're familiar with that ready from past levels. So, I mean, I can just do, so here's this level dungeon. This is what I worked on on uh, uh, a stream on Thursday for one of our live streams. Um, so if I minimize this, you can see this image here. Uh, so SparkShare now can take that image and uh, take it into SparkShare so you don't have to upload your own, which is really handy. So let's see if I can find Dungeon. There it is. So Dungeon. So I click that. Boom. So that, that right there was the brand new load and try to find the image. So there, it found the image, which is really handy. Um, and the next cool thing is I'm actually, actually going to be able to upload this without closing Spark. Before, when I had to do an upload, it would want this to be closed. So now I can also keep Spark open. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, another new feature is um, if I go and want to do a, I want to share this privately. So let's say I'm working on a game jam creation, and I don't want everybody to see this, or I want a you know password for entry. I can choose it to do locked. Um, let's see, I can choose a password here. Uh, sure, let's do um, let's do Spark. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, so I don't think I've shown that off on stream before. So where you can you can choose to lock it with a password and create one. Uh, so not really new there. Um, what you're also able to do is uh, with it locked, you can uh, choose to uh, make it hidden or not. Um, so I'll actually go through uh, this uh, upload. So let's say dungeon, um, just give it a quick summary. Work, uh, work in progress. Um, I'll fill in details with future updates. All right, cool. And then let's choose a share here. Okay. And for you guys, I'll uh, actually maximize this too for you so we can make sure you guys see everything. I usually get used to working with it in the window, but you can blow it up full screen if you want. So let's check my notification. Um, oh, look at that. So this is getting downloaded quite a bit, my creation here. Shooter mechanics, uh, starter kit, download eight times. My dialogue tree, download eight times. And then let me know, know that it finished that upload for the dungeon. So I can choose to right click to dismiss here. Boom, boom, all right, great. Shut that down and look at my assets here. So here's that level, here's where it's locked. I see the date that it's locked until before it becomes unlocked. And yep, lock content, work in progress. Sweet, all right. Um, so the other really cool feature, so if I go to a level that's just here in, uh, in the feed, so let's go, uh, let's take a look at Astro Triple Backwall. So this is by uh, DinkerPy3, or DinkP3 is his username here in SparkShare. Um, and there's a user profile now, so if I can actually link to this, and it'll take me to his page. So from here, I see uh, his name, when he joined, how many assets he has uh, loaded, etc. Um, and I get a couple new options here as well. So I can choose to follow uh, DinkerPy3. Um, so if I'm really interested in the uploads that he does, um, I can choose to do that. So sure, I'll do follow. So I can choose to stop it or not. Um, I can also send him a private message if I'd like to. Um, so that's a brand new feature as well. Um, it could be changing. There's uh, some several iterations it's going through, but there it's now in here. So I can choose to uh, click that, um, and it actually opens up my other private messages too. So here's my prompt. Here's it's going to. I can do a subject line and then type in a message. I can even have some styling options here before I send it. Um, so here's a message I sent in the past. Open that up. So I told him that he rocked. And then also here's a message I received from Psycho Killer uh, letting me know about the new private messages feature. Um, so he sent that to everybody, I'm, I'm pretty sure, on SparkShare. And it kind of creates just this conversation log and collapses the other messages. So you can also, so this what I'm looking at here, you can also, if I come back in catalog, I can access this from down here, private messages, and that's where it'll take me. I can also, if I remember somebody's username, I can do a brand new message. Oh, I'm gonna have already one open uh, because this one is. Uh, let's see if it'll. Let me let's send this message. Um, if I had, if I didn't start working on a message from him, I'd be able to open up and do a new one using that plus tab. All right, let me check out another person's uh, here. Let's see, so we're Andrew two. Let's go look at his profile. Open it up and we're Andrew. Awesome. And you can see, so he has um, a top like asset. So he has some likes on Socket Tester and then he also has a, a liked pack here. Um, and I can see 36 assets. He uploaded a ton of these toys to make this pack. Um, and also a bunch of other packs too. So um, let's say follow. 
I'm interested and I'll let him know. I really like your boy Sim, please. All right, and now I get the option to actually send that off. Great. And sent a message to where Andrew. Awesome. All right. So besides that, there's some other, um, you know, random fixes too that include it, like uh, some adjustments to notifications and styling. There, uh, you can now delete um, certain comments. Uh, you can also uh, drag this window around now um, from just this top bar up here, like a normal Windows app. So looking great. I can't wait to see uh, the you know where SparkShare goes in the future. Um, but it is getting to be already pretty full-fledged. Um, and again, um, if you were wanting to know how to get SparkShare, how to download it, um, the website is sparkshare.ch. This is the web page here, and you just uh, can choose to download it, and then you have to create an account to register. So those are your two options. And then there's also a forum to give it, uh, give feedback and advice to PsychoKiller. Um, so pretty awesome stuff. Um, really neat to see how far it's coming along already. Uh, can't wait to see even you know what new features keep coming. All right, well that's gonna just about do it for this quick video and uh, update on uh, SparkShare 1.2. So uh, we'll keep you posted if more updates come to this community app. Um, and we're looking forward to them. So talk to you guys later. Bye. Project Spark is where players create and creators play. What better way to be inspired than to see what's possible? This will surely spark your imagination. Now, how do we begin?